Previously, we looked at a nice list of all the instruments that you could be using in A-levels to measure different kinds of quantities. Now, we want to look at what if you took one of these instruments and you measured something, some quantity. You are not very certain of that quantity, but how do you find or estimate the uncertainty? That's what we're going to look at in this part. So let's say you are trying to measure the diameter of a round thing, like a glass marble or like some kind of, you know, round thing here. And you're like, huh, how do I measure the diameter? Take a few diameter, I measure, or maybe it is something really soft like this squishy soft, I don't know what you call this thing, pillow. Uh. See this squishy soft thing? It goes, you have a diameter, but it can be, you know, squashed. And you try to try your best to measure. It will not be the same value. So as you can see on this set of data here, you have slightly different diameters of a glass marble. Somehow this glass marble is not perfect. How do you estimate its uncertainty? The number one method, if you have many readings of the same thing, such as a marble, you say, oh, I take diameter here. I think that's the middle. Then I do another time I measure here. I do another time I measure here. I do another time I measure here. It's, it's hard to know exactly what the diameter is. So if you have five values here, we are going to take half the range of the method. So the uncertainty in D, I use a triangle, the delta to show uncertainty, will be half the range. What does half the range mean? Half the range basically says, oh, let's take half, oh, let's write it here, half the largest value minus the smallest value, also known as D min. What would that be in our case here? If you look at the top list, I think the smallest is this one, 2.48. The largest is this one, 2.52. So this will be our D max. Minus it, you'll get 2.52 minus 2.48. And these are all in CM. And that would give us, after calculation, a value of 0 0.02. This is CM, CM, okay. That is our uncertainty, delta D. Note, this is the absolute uncertainty. How do I know it's absolute? Because you know, my values are in CM, ah, so my uncertainty also in CM. Oh. But we're not done yet. Usually, you will want to write it uh, with the, uncertain, the, the actual value of D. So maybe I can find the average diameter. How do you find average? <sighs> you add up all together. 2.52 plus 2.49 plus 2.48 plus 2.51 plus 2.49. Oops, that's 4. Divided by the number of measurements there. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I write 5. And our average will be 2.498. Ah, my calculator says 498. Okay, like 2.498 cm. So that's great. Now I have my average and I have my CM. So I conclude after all my measurements that the, the measurement of D, conclusion, therefore, it will be uh, 2.50, but I'm not exactly sure because my measurements are a bit different. So I say plus minus 0 0.02. I am uncertain. And since both of these quantities are in CM, so I can put this plus minus whatever value and the cm is on this side so you can kind of say okay like this whole thing's under a bracket all right that's how we know i'm kind of sure 2.5 but some variation so this is one method you will use a lot in paper three let me write it uh, up here where my hashtag paper three but a lot more also in paper five where you take measurements and you find the uncertainty there is one more method though there is one dangerous thing whatever um Half the range method, okay, so this one, the main equation you need to know or write down for your notes is half the range. That's how you find, that's how you estimate uncertainty. But there's a danger. If you get zero uncertainty, you cannot use this method. So uncertainty, this is a note, warning sign. Uncertainty, whatever you use, if this method cannot be, can I move over this side a bit? Zero. So the whatever uncertainty you find with half the range cannot be zero. If it is zero, you cannot use this method. Then how? So in paper three, there's another method. This other method is to just estimate. Oh, if you cannot half the range, do some estimation. So you kind of 
have this round shape which is kind of round but not really and you say okay i'm not measure the diameter i don't know it's maybe 2.5 based on what i think i measured but i'm kind of uncertain if i use my ruler like we mentioned the other day the smallest reading of a ruler is 0 0.1 cm so maybe I'm like, hmm, maybe I'll take two times or five times. I, I just ex estimate, just choose a value. So I'll say, okay, maybe I'm, I'm not sure. 0 point, 0 0.3. This is a squishy toy. Maybe I'll put 0 0.3. So this value just came not out of the blue, but I estimate it. And this is also a skill you will need to know in paper three only, no paper five. Over time, the more experiments you do, uh, you will... Be get more used to estimating there's no really fixed equation for that but estimate look through some past years and see what are the allowed ranges of estimated uncertainty and that's how we build experience okay so do your ex lab experiments make sure you know the two methods half the range and just estimate guesstimate your way through next up we're going to look at how do you up interpret your uncertainty so you know oh i have a 0 0.3 uncertainty here for example what does that mean for my data? How valid or how accurate is it?